On to you, Sagittarius. So you're going through a serious time of transformation. You have the Ten of Swords and the Moon. So a lot of um, you were you you were you were trying you were trying to get to know somebody. They end up being a jerk. So you, Sagittarius, dubbed them. You ghosted, and you stopped talking to them. Obviously, and the Moon is about how you know you you really taking some time off. From, from really trying to get to know anybody around this time so that you can really heal yourself as well as feel better about yourself because it's hot. Because you don't have to deal with the nonsense that other people bring to your table. And the Six of Wands represents that you feel proud of yourself because, you know, some years ago you may have taken it. You may have had taken it, the disrespect, but now you have a better understanding that you shouldn't take disrespect like that. You know what I mean? So in some instances, you sh you have to learn to let it slide off your shoulders. But in but in some instances, you should not, and you should know how to get away from the person who's disrespecting you and get away from them. You know, and you have to know which one is which. But the chariot represents how, um, because you've questioned some people. Like I said, you're trying to get to know, and you found out that some of those people that you were questioning, um. The, the story really didn't add up, you know, the things that they said about themselves and what it is that they showed you didn't necessarily add up. Right. They were trying to make it seem like they were they were better off in life. They were more well off than they actually were. And that that it turned out to not be true. Um, some of these people me, maybe even have told you that they don't cheat or that they will respect you, Sagittarius, they'll treat you well. And then a short period of time in it, they started disrespecting you. But then the thing about it is that the night, the night of cups is about how since that's the case, a lot of you Sagittarius really also understood that because of it, when you saw, when you started to see those red flags really start to come up, you didn't have to tell them that you were going to talk to them. Like I said, you ghosted. You decided to dip. You, de you decided to leave them alone because... A lot of you Sagittarius really didn't see the value in even trying to communicate with them the way that you used to. And then there's the rain. Then you have the Four of Cups, right? So now the Four of Cups is about how um, you don't necessarily want to casually date, but you would rather have way more fun just being single around this time, right? And the two of wands and the sun represents, you, oh, you plan on definitely trying to come back, talk to some new people. Um, you may, as a matter of fact, you may even be doing it now, talking to somebody else. You may just, you may just have uh, stopped talking to those people, but not stopped for a while. You decided to get right back up on the horse and begin talking to people again. And the Eight of Wands is about, but this time you Sagittarius are being way more upfront and honest about what it is that you want. The Seven of Swords now is about how, so now it's up to those people to decide for themselves whether or not they're really, they really want something real, right? Because like it is that I said before, Sagittarius are, are, you know, Sagittarius are kind of like, you know, you Sagittarius are kind of like, real soft individuals but try to make it seem like y'all are tough now i'm not saying that y'all are not tough y'all are tough but you try to make it seem like nothing in the world affects you and relationships is definitely one of the sore spots you feel like a lot of you sagittarius unfortunately feel like you're a failure because it feels like people don't really love you when all it is that you want is for someone to love you but that idea of people not loving you is completely untrue. <laughs> um, the Seven of Swords now represents um, like trickery, right? Being a con. So the good thing is you're making it harder for people to try to con you. And the very answers that a lot of you Sagittarius really wanted 
from the very beginning of uh, what you wanted to find out if somebody really had your back, right? Even someone that you didn't, whether it was somebody that you knew for years or somebody that you didn't know for a long time that you just now started to know. You're, be, you're Like I said before, you're getting very good at being able <clears throat> to identify if they're really going to be around you for a long time or not. Um, and, and how you're doing that, like I said, is the eight of wands being straight up about what it is that you want. And then being able to listen to listen to understand if the person agrees with that and then watching what it is that they do afterwards. You, you understand what I'm saying? So let's clear because there's a lot of people who sell wolf tickets. A lot of people lie. Lie too much. So let's clarify the seven of, of uh, swords. So the seven of swords, to clarify the seven of swords, the eight of swords, right? Queen of cups, ace of pentacles, the sun. Yeah, because the eight of, the eight of swords and the queen of cups, because a lot of you Sagittarius have been through too much. You've been around the block way too many times. You, you're too, what I'm trying to say is, you're too experienced enough to know that you're too experienced to have someone be able to come to you, give you a, a, a weak lie, tell you that they love you, and then don't actually practice anything that they're preaching. You know, you're able to see very much so if someone is being real with you or not. And the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun now is about because the Ace of Pentacles is about you're offering value, you're bringing value, you know, and you are willing to get to know somebody, the sun, but, you know, are they bringing in value though? That's the question that legitimately needs to be answered because a lot of you Sagittarius are going to immediately come with some value. You're going to show someone, hey, listen, let's date, let's hang out, let's, let's kick it, you know? And when I say value, I don't necessarily always mean like gifts and finances. I'm talking about value in the sense that you're showing them that you legitimately want to be there and that you're looking for someone to spend, uh, you know, the rest of your life with or, or, or something serious with someone else. And how you do that is by being there, being present. So a lot of you Sagittarius are willing to be there and be present. But like it, as I said before, a lot of you Sagittarius are very, are very much so pulling the card of people that would tell you some nonsense because fire signs because i'll say this right fire signs in general but specifically sagittarius right you guys or, or y'all a lot of you really tend to end up getting caught up with the lies that other people tell because a lot of y'all because a lot of fire signs are kind of naive when they're real young right fire signs and water signs are very naive when they're young so what will happen is well, really everyone is, but people are, are very much so naive when they're young. So what will happen is with the fire signs, you you will put 100% of, of your trust in somebody and then the person will end up breaking your heart romantically or otherwise. And then now it's like, well, you, you somewhere with your hands up asking yourselves, well, what is it that you should do? I'm going to tell you what it is that you Sagittarius should really end up doing is when, you know, um, come with some value. Bring value in immediately. Don't bring too much in, but bring some value in. And if the person brings no value, just kind of sit back and watch at that. But at the same time, still continue to have fun with them. But just notice that, just notice, just kind of keep sticky notes in your head, right? That this person is not really bringing in any kind of value, you know? And that's how it is that you're able to tell if somebody would really be good for you or not so that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video overall a lot of you sagittarius are very much on the right track um you like i said you're getting to know some people you're talking right um you're just seeing how many people rely on games you know <laughs> and like i said before you come to find out just how true a lot of the stuff in these videos i tell you are right most people are in the game so that's pretty much it. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. Also too, please come through, get some uh, personal readings or, or um, 
purchase my book, get the hoodies, sweatshirts. The link to all of that is in the is in the link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it. It will redirect you to a drop down menu in which you can uh, navigate your way there. But I just want to say thank you again. Peace.